LA investors. Today we are going to do a deep, 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 deep dive into Cleveland because I have two clients that I am going to make sure do not make a bad investment, right? So if you've been thinking about buying these cheap properties, y'all see dollar properties in Detroit, dollar properties in Cleveland, stuff like that. You hear about how you can get these things for pennies on the dollar. Do not, and I repeat, do not spend hundreds of thousands of dollars until you talk to me. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and this show is brought to you by PropStream. Seriously powerful real estate data. If you are looking for information, insight, comparables, MLS access, so to speak, in any market across the United States, you guys definitely want to check out my people, PropStream, they sponsor this show, and guess what? If you click the notes under this video, you're going to get a free trial from your boy, Jay Wise, and then after that, you'll get a continued discount if you choose to continue with the service. But if you're in Cleveland, if you're in Cleveland looking to do deals in Cleveland, you probably don't even need PropStream because I got seriously powerful real estate data right here on the show. Information that goes beyond what you can find online. Information that goes beyond what you can Google. I give you real life information from a guy who has walked the walk. All right. I don't just talk to talk. I sold $200 million worth of stuff and I run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind in Cleveland. And today I'm making sure my dudes, uh, Gary and Andrew, from L.A., I'm making sure Gary and Andrew do not lose their money. You guys got a ton of money. I get it. You got a ton of money, and it's burning a hole through your pocket, and you're trying to get in, roll up them sleeves, and, and just get into the business, man. Take a bite out of this real estate, okay, because it's cheap out here. But I want to talk to you about the property you sent me, right? I'm going to talk to you about the pros, the cons, the risk, the reward right after this. Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the deal, right? This one sent to me by my dudes, Andrew and Gary. Now, fellas, truth be told, you guys sent me a handful of properties, and uh, I pretty much poo-pooed on all of them because, uh, like, they're all fucking horrible fucking investments. This one, I'm not going to say this is a horrible fucking investment. It's just a horrible investment. Like, it's shitty but not as shitty as some of the other ones. I get it, fellas. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to get bird deals, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. It makes sense. You dudes are aggressive. You see very, very cheap properties. You want to get in and add value. But I believe living in L.A. is warping your view, okay? Warping your view a little bit, right? And th that's okay. That's It's supposed to, honestly. And, you know, that's why I have a job. That's why this show is successful. And you guys are not stupid investors by any means because you're not dropping 30 k on this just like you didn't drop a penny on any of those other properties. You're doing your due diligence, right? Because why would you know Cleveland like you know L.A.? You don't. You live in L.A. You know L.A. But what's hard for people in L.A. to understand, and it's a crazy thought, honestly, uh, that there's just properties that are worth zero, that are worth nothing, where the dirt is of no value. And I know that that just sounds so foreign when you're in L.A., okay? Because when you're in L.A., vacant lots, dude, pe people pay a lot of money for vacant lots. People buy really big houses. People buy mansions in L.A. to tear them down to build bigger mansions, right? But in Cleveland, uh, you get areas where the ARV is actually so low, the properties become worth zero, right? Like this one. It's listed at thirty grand. okay? 
and you get this little area, right? This is, again, not as bad as some of the other areas you guys have sent me. Uh, like, I think you guys sent me five deals and uh, uh, of everyone. I was pretty much like, dude, this is like one of the worst neighborhoods ever. This neighborhood is not as blighted as those ones, but it's still very blighted, right? Here's our home. You can see four vacant lots, vacant lot, vacant, 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 uh, vacant, vacant, vacant. Vacant, vacant, uh, another one up there, right? You can see all these vacant lots. What these vacant lots are is their homes. They got to the point where they needed so much money in repairs, it would cost more to repair them than what you could sell a fully refurbished home for in that area, right? So with this one, your, your list price here is 29 k I just don't see you being able to buy it renovate it and burr it out there's nothing to burr there's really no equity right what you guys want to focus on is neighborhoods in the cleveland market where the arv of a duplex is going to be around a hundred thousand this one is not it if you bought the property for like 10k like maybe right like maybe you could do something here um like we don't have like a bajillion things of info like but it's gonna need like a decent chunk of work like the thing i could see here is i'm assuming that's supposed to be the kitchen it's not even in there so like i don't know i'm thinking you probably need like 50 60k to put this thing together right uh that's just assuming the upstairs kitchen looks the same way it's assuming you need to run all new plumbing furnace hot water tank or you probably need like 60k right so if you buy it for 60 they want 30 right Th that's 90 well the arv ain't freaking 90 man it's no it's like way half of that dude like you can get like fully refurbished duplexes over here for like pennies really i mean you could do them for like 40 50k i mean this is just really not uh an entry-level neighborhood for two new guys from la to go into right uh not the worst deal you guys have sent me not not the craziest one not the highest risk one but it's just at a point where there's just so many more conservative deals you guys can do where you guys can accomplish the goals you're trying to. I wouldn't want to have you spend any more time trying to fit a round peg in a square hole uh, with this particular deal, right? Because if we were to find this in an area where the ARV is 100K, right, and you could pick it up at 20, put 60 into it, all in for 80, then do your refi, that's a solid deal, right? But we're not working with those types of ARV numbers in this neighborhood. So for this one, fellas, my advice is for you guys to pass. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.